Hey everyone, it's Rhinebeck Week with Christy Glass. I'm Sandy from By the Lakeside and I'm here to celebrate the New York Sheep and Wolf Festival with you in our kitchens. I'm going to be making artichokes French today, which is something that many, many people enjoy at Rhinebeck. And I'm really excited to make it and bring a little bit of Rhinebeck to our homes. I will admit that I have never sampled the artichokes French at Rhinebeck myself. I've heard so many people talk about them, but I don't usually wait in the food lines because I am so excited to see friends and chat and shop for yarn. But if you're like me and you've been wanting to try them, or if you have tried them and you absolutely love them, here's your chance to make them at home. You don't need a lot of ingredients and I am going to post the recipe with the ingredients list on my blog. So if you're looking for that, you can find it there. But here's what you'll need. You need a can of quartered artichoke hearts, flour and an egg for dredging, some salt and pepper, butter, a lemon, and Parmesan cheese. You'll also need some olive oil or any cooking oil that you prefer for frying it. So let's get going. I'm just gonna heat up my pan with some olive oil. I've put some flour in one bowl with a pinch of salt and pepper and whipped up an egg in another bowl with a pinch of salt and pepper again. I always like to season when I'm dredging. I've got my artichokes. These are actually quartered, but if you have halves, they're good too. And I've just drained them and I am going to start dredging. I actually found that pouring the flour right over the artichokes was a little bit better because they're so delicate and you don't want them to fall apart. So that's a bit of a time saver. And I'm just gonna fry these up one at a time. And when they are browned, I'm going to take them out and put them on a paper towel to drain. You want to make sure that you're turning them around and getting all the sides crispy and browned. are looking good. I'm going to drain them on a paper towel. Just draining them on a paper towel and then I'll do one more little batch. I've removed all of the artichokes that were fried into a bowl and cleaned out my pan, removed all of the excess oil and give it a little bit of a wipe down. And now we are going to melt some butter. And add the juice of one lemon. I'm going to take the artichokes and add them to the butter and lemon mixture and just cook away for a couple minutes. 
I'm also going to add a little bit of salt, pepper, and about three tablespoons of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I may have added a little extra cheese, but they've been sitting for a couple of minutes and now I'm just going to take them out with a slotted spoon and put them into serving dishes. If you have any juices left in the pan, you can just turn up the heat and reduce a little bit. I didn't really, so I added just a little pat of butter and another half of a lemon. And when that reduces, I'm just going to drizzle it on top of the final dish. And of course, I added a touch more Parmesan cheese on top. And if I had parsley, I would sprinkle that too. Here is the final artichokes French, which would be delicious for my lunch today with a little bit of crusty bread. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope that you find some time during Rhinebeck week to make something really delicious for yourself.